Right now, an entire town still in shock. Residents counting their blessings after a massive explosion rocks the small town of Henrietta. Cleanup now underway at the anchor glass plant that went up in flames last night. And today, we're getting a look at the damage left behind. Fire could be seen for miles. Two Works for you reporter Lauren Callender starts our team coverage tonight. She spoke with a woman whose husband was inside at the time of the explosion. Residents call the anchor glass plant a landmark here in Henrietta. Many saying if they don't work here, they know someone who does. So when the flames ripped through the building last night, it had hundreds of people on edge. Oh my God. Shannon Frayer's husband Clayton has worked at the anchor glass plant in Henrietta for 10 years. Last night, she got an unexpected call during his shift. He called me at 856, talked to me for 18 seconds and told me that I needed to go and get the his boss, which lives across the street from my mom. That 18 second phone call was all the information she had from her husband, but she immediately knew something was wrong. He was very panicked. So I knew it was something serious. The plant filled with 75 employees bursting into flames. Police say one of the machines in the hot end where the glass molds are made caught on fire. The plant evacuating employees while the Frayer's five year old son anxiously waited to hear from his dad. And normally he goes to sleep about 9 30, 10 o'clock, but he wouldn't go to sleep until we knew that his dad was okay. A silver lining, no employees were hurt during the fire. Shannon Frayer thankful to reunite with her husband. I had his mom with me, so we were just really happy that he was uh, alive and not hurt. The plant employs more than 600 people in Henrietta, generations of families working there, including Shannon's mom, who is one of the employees back today to help clean up. She said there's a bunch of, a bunch of glass everywhere. Many thankful this major Henrietta employer is still intact and that everyone is okay. Plant supervisors say they could possibly have two or three out of the six shops open within the next few days. Reporting in Henrietta, Loring Calendar, Two Works for You.